Hey everyone, um, in this video here I'm going to show you how to download all of the digital assets um, for your WordPress blog. Um, and this is for if you're transferring your WordPress installation from one server to another. The first thing you want to do is get the data out of the database and secondly you want to download all the files. All the WordPress files which includes any uploaded photos and themes and the theme modifications of course and any plugins anything like that all that stuff so we're going to go through that process right now okay here I'm logged into the control panel of HostGator um, it should look similar regardless of what host you use unless it's GoDaddy's a little different but and some other hosts but um, in general this is what you're going to see so the first step we want to do is we want to go to PHP my admin and I have that open here in a new window so then on the left side will be a list of the databases that you have. So you can just select one of the databases there. I'm going to choose this one. Now I want to export this all this data. So what I'm going to do is click on the export button and then I'm just going to accept the default. So I'm just going to click go and what that's going to do is download the an SQL file with all the contents of the database into one large text file that gets put down um, on my desktop on my computer. Okay. So that's it, that's the exporting of the database, that's done. So next, what I wanna do is download all the WordPress files. So what I'm gonna get you to do is log into your FTP software. I use FileZilla, it doesn't really matter what you use. You can even use the online file manager. Um, but for this, I'm just gonna show you how I do it with FileZilla um, through FTP. So first of all, when you log in, you connect to the server. Um, on the left side, you're gonna see the directories that you have on your local computer and on the right side is going to be all the content for your actual website so what I want to do is I'm going to download everything to the desktop and it's probably best to create a new folder to put everything in um, so what I'm going to do I'll, I'm just going to pause this really quick and create that folder one sec okay sorry about that okay so now I got this new folder I created called WP and so and that's an empty folder and what I'm going to do is download all these files so I'm just going to click over there press control A that's going to select everything right click and click download and that's going to download every single file to to my local drive and then after that's all downloaded um, in a separate video I'm going to show you how to edit the config file and do a couple other things so I'm just going to leave it as is, just wait for everything to be downloaded to the computer and then after this step you're going to have both the database and the WordPress files on your local computer ready to be uploaded to a new server. Okay, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.